My name is Olaf Boekhorn. I am one of the oboe teachers here at Fontis. Um, and I'm oboe player in Kalevax Reed Quintet. So I'm mainly a chamber music player, although I do some other things beside it. So I'm Marcel Lefebvre and I'm the bassoon teacher of AMPA. So I used to play uh, two years in Berlin Philharmonic uh, before joining Marcus Rabrosius Philharmonic four years ago. My name is Herman Winken and I'm an oboe professor at AMPA for about 25 years now. And uh, I'm also a solo oboe player at the Philharmonic Orchestra in the South Netherlands for about 30 years now. I feel really blessed because I think these two jobs are really complementary. My name is Pauline Zwinkel and I play oboe. This year I did the pre-bachelor and after summer I am going to study at AMPA. The most important thing I've learned so far at AMPA is um, that I'm more capable of doing things uh, that I felt. I am Silvia Ruiz Perez. I came from Spain. I study bassoon at AMPA. I love the bassoon because I think that it's a really versatile instrument. I really love the color. It's really similar to the human voice. And also you can play in a lot of these ensembles, in chamber music groups like quintet, trio, quartet, or in different styles like baroque music, musica, classic music, and contemporary. The lesson that I try to give is uh, really to be very aware about like, what the student does need and uh, not only like from technical aspect or stuff like that, but what he doesn't need because nobody does need exactly the same thing and nobody wants to play music and to perform in the same way. So just like the lesson is completely focused on what kind of musician do you believe you can be and how to find it. One of the most important things I'd like to teach you is that you become a musician, not only an oboe player, but a real musician. And for me, a musician is somebody who can perform, who can reach out to the audience, which is there, and can really touch them. Not only playing your notes, which is important, but it's just one of the basics. It's really that you tell a story to the people you're reaching out. The first question you should ask yourself is, why do I want to make music? And, and one of the possible answers could be um, because I love to do it. And the other answer could be because I do it for other people. I want to let them enjoy and I want to show my feelings. But in order to do so, um, you have to get through these emotions yourself as, as a player. So this is one aspect, uh, one, one really important aspect in, in, uh, in our lessons. I'm looking forward to uh, learn what music really is about, not just uh, play the notes and just, you know, uh, make a noise out of your instrument, but to become a real well-rounded musician who knows uh, what is music all about. So after you graduated at AMPA, you have a good solid base to do every audition you want. Um, you are prepared to play every piece in, in our repertoire. And I think um, if you put all those emotions in the music on which we worked, you will be an exceptional player on every audition. There's a lot of project organized. For example, this is Double Reads Day when uh, people from all over Netherlands come to organize bassoon ensemble or oboe ensemble. People who are playing in very famous orchestras such as Concertgebouw Amsterdam or Rotterdam Philharmonic. And at the same time, outside of this, which are like uh, very important to create a very good communication and network uh, as well for the student, which is very important, it's that the student can be easily connected to any other classes to create any kind of other ensemble with every kind of instrument that you can imagine to play with. The school is uh, very well equipped with uh, machinery to make reeds. Um, we have all the gouging machines for oboe and English horn as well. We have the profiling machines, we have the, the shapers. So if you decide to, to study here, you will play on your reed already in the second or third week on. And then you can develop this, this skill. I think there's a good reason for students to come to Fontis for AMPA, either as a bachelor or as a master student. At this conservatory, it's possible to, to go many directions. Of course, you come for your own instrument, in this case, probably, or maybe with me, 
for the elbow. But beside your instruments, there are many possibilities to, to cooperate with other directions here, like uh, with, uh, with arts, different kinds of arts, uh, with dance, uh, with different kinds of students, uh, theater. And you, they are all situated here in this very building. So there's, it's just a short way just, just to reach out to somebody and to find somebody to, 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 to play or to work together with. Beside that, so it's, you can find your own way of being a musician, being an artist, I'd say actually, because uh, it's, it's, it's much wider than only music. And I think this broadness in thinking has, has, has a big future. Uh, you should choose for EMPA because it's uh, the school you need to look to the future. It's the school that you need to be really free in your art performance and to really like choose what kind of person and artist you want to be. I think you should come to AMPA for its diversity and because you can find your own path, your own musical path for the future. <laughs>